Greetings and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Tropical 3 Absolute Power in the Mission Greed. Alright. Still got an economic downturn. The second one. And I'm barely making enough in exports. To stay just above bankruptcy. Should be fine though once the uh, economic downturn is solved. Food demand. Food reserves are dropping with an alarming rate. Yesterday I got my boots stolen, and they were not even made of real leather. No more people then. I want to get them more food, but I just can't afford to build any. So, plenty of inputs, plenty of input, almost no input, no. Presidente, allow me to introduce myself. I am Pietro Navarra. I am writing to you on behalf of your pious subjects. It seems that you have been neglecting those who are faithful and favoring other factions. I would be happy to dispel these notions if you provide a $5,000 annual grant to the church. Should you choose to turn down my help, the faithful might lose faith in your, pres in your presidente. That doesn't sound like a correct sentence. Right, so Pietro Navarro is essentially a mob boss. Decline. <laughs> And I will need to find some way to make food. Now let's hope I get some food from the uh, superpowers. Some money from the superpowers. That's what I said, didn't wasn't it? It's close. It's too darn close, actually. I want a little bit of a surplus. But I'll take close. Surveys suggest that the popularity of El Presidente has been dropping since the beginning of his regime. This may be due to his lackluster relations with the leading factions on the island. Alright, I definitely need some ranches. Alright. One here. One here, and let's get also let's get some goats. That should solve the sh the food shortest at the moment. I might also get the mine. And there was another iron mine somewhere. Let me build the road. Alright, let's go. No spending allowed, that's fine. And the production is still fine, but... Oh well, how's the Swiss bank account doing? Um, not bad. I'm uh, I'm just over halfway. 
And still plenty of time to go. Starvation took four victims. That's a pity. Um, can I get the aid camp? Nope. Building occupation start. Your favorite radio host, Juanito, is here. Looks like the enemies of El Presidente are targeting our colleagues in the tropical media. Well, I have a message for these guys. Come get me if you can. You can't stop the signal, baby. You can't stop TNT. Ah, Don. Extra rebels. Yeah, I definitely need to train my military and my secret agents. Their skill is currently not very good. Oh well. More money will be coming in soon. And the power grid is just a little bit short. Now it will take a while for the ranches to actually catch up with the production that I need. Which is a bit of a problem. Yeah, USSR does not like me at all. That is, a, that could become a problem. Yeah, because the communist wants housing. But I can't afford housing. Even if the houses are relatively cheap. Did they finish building the garage on this side? Yes, they did. Good. I can't build roads when I'm in debt like this. And we have some serious bottlenecking issues. There's too many bloody cars. But nothing I can do about that. Yet again, for the same reason. Alright. More factory stuff happening. Well, I'm almost uh, at where I need to be. Fortunately, my population keeps regenerating itself at this point. And I'm not likely to lose anyone I especially need. Alright, so... Food quality high. And we're providing more meals again. Good. That should that should make things slightly better. Come on, darn economic downturn. Go away. I need money. Yes, finally! Twenty years have passed since El Presidente took leadership. After all this time, he does not show signs of stepping down anytime soon. All right, the gold farm is almost done. Now, stop giving me those economic downturns stuff that get that, that infuriates me so much. Especially in a mission where you have to focus on being as greedy as possible. 
Now granted, I'm probably not playing the most efficient game, but still... I should not be really having any problems. I just want to build something. What now? The preacher Pietro Navarro is dead. The church has declared him a saint, a martyr. The public funeral is held today. The procession was attended by 80% of the people of the population of Mantar Mantaria. His followers are asking you to set up an annual stipend of $4,000 in his name. Declining this would certainly offend the religious thing. Yeah, well, I decline then. That bastard tried to scam me. He does not deserve money. He deserves condemnation. And finally, some money again. Uh, and let's try it again. Three more rebels. Alright, let's get some more housing. Tropical, an unspeakable act. Yeah, that's that's what you get when you deploy your secret agents so late in the game. It takes a while for them to get their skills up. Alright. Well, I'm desperate enough to try it. I need money. No spending allowed, that's fine. But it doesn't matter. After all, it's just a Swiss bank account that matters. And now that I finally don't have to worry about my goods being undersold on the market. I may need a few more uh, logging camps in order to make sure that they have enough input because even the, uh, the furniture factory is not being kept busy the rebel attack well my army is still stronger special report that new rebel fad has grown out of proportion they are attacking buildings now El Presidente stated he is shocked and appalled by this unprovoked attack on the peace and democracy in Tropico Yes, I am very shocked. Yeah. Food or healthcare is not below the right number for that. Food is exceptionally high. Healthcare is still high enough. Respect is quite low. Yeah, religious hate me because of all the stuff that I did. Because in the year, several key figures from the intellectual faction have become publicly accusing your rule of corruption and funneling funds from the treasury. We could use this as an opportunity to discredit the religious faction by presenting evidence that Mr. Navarra and his followers have been channeling money into their private accounts for years. Yeah, let's do that. Alright. Some people are demanding elections, but my happiness is still high enough. Democracy is knocking on the door of El Presidente as the people of Tropico are demanding elections in the upcoming years. Will this be the end of El Presidente's tyrannical regime? Let the voice of the people be heard. We shall not fail. Adelante, compañeros. Um. 
Ooh, darn it. Dear Tropicans, I have some troubling news for you today. Overhearing a conversation between two generals yesterday, I got wind that the great Russian bear is planning an invasion on our little paradise. This time they've gone too far. Don't they know that our great leader, El Presidente, can easily chase them off with his huge baseball bat if they try to disturb his early afternoon siesta? Yeah, take that. Alright, let's get some pro-USSR policies going. I'm still a little bit of in debt, but there's nothing much I can do about that now. Still have barely anything in the input storage. Come on, give me some series bank. Just enough that I can actually build something new. Uh, all right. Speech, religion. I'll praise the. Communists. Adequate religion satisfaction. Citizens of Tropico, the importance of the upcoming elections has brought me before you. We are one step closer to our goals. Victory is almost upon us, but we must still push forward. <laughs> yes, there are problems. There will always be problems, especially in the current economic situation. The lack of priests, about which I hear so much these days, is one of them. And it will be resolved as will all others in time as the global economy stabilizes. Through my years of presidency, I have received your gratitude, my companions. Alas, I am nothing but a humble servant, and you are my masters, my employers. I must, in turn, pay my respects to you, the everyday workers, especially to the communists. As a nation, we have come a long way, but we still have a long way before us to reach our goals. A godless nation is a weak nation. I pledge to provide enough places for worship for the righteous Tropicans in the next mandate. <laughs> there is no need to go on talking. Our victory is secured! Right then, let's get some tourism. And mayhaps also enough that I can buy a new factory. Yes. Weapons factory. Come on, let me build it. Poor healthcare, yeah. That's gonna happen at some point. National debt. Ah, oh, the USSR likes me again. 
Ah well. We'll continue this next time.